I'm Injustice, and welcome to Forza Car Reviews. Today's episode is on the Forza P1 division, and I'll be driving the 2017 Porsche No. 2 Porsche Team 919 Hybrid. Featuring a turbocharged 2.0-liter V4 and an electric power plant, the 919 produces around 500 horsepower from its engine and another 400 from the electric system, totaling 900 horsepower and around 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. In 2017, Porsche redesigned the aero of the 919 to make it less sensitive to small debris on the track. They also made two aero packages for the car, one with low drag for Le Mans and another with increased downforce for tight tracks. We are given access to the high downforce package. All-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive systems are used pretty evenly through the division, but the Nissan GTR LM is different. It uses a hybrid V6 located in front of the driver, which mainly powers the front wheels. The car has a secondary drive shaft that is capable of powering the rear wheels with electric motors, but this drive shaft is not usable in the game. This makes the GTR LM the only front mid-engine front-wheel drive Le Mans prototype, and is the first car since the 50s to have an engine in front of the driver at Le Mans. There is only one car in the division that handles strangely, and that's the Audi R15. The R15 has great turn-in, but there's something about the car that makes it unstable. Switching directions too quickly under power, and cornering while braking causes major losses of control, and usually leads to a spin. This could be from a lack of overbody aero, or it could be from gearing that is too long for tight corners. Though it's not the only rear-wheel drive car, it's the only car with difficulty steering. The cars in this division handle extremely well, as one may expect, and their straight line speed is nothing to scoff at. Most of the cars are easy to learn, and all of them are more than capable of satisfying one's need for speed. And there's a reason many record times are set with these cars. Really nothing can compete with them around a mid to high speed circuit. The 919s are the fastest pair of cars in the game, though the 2017 version is slightly slower around a track due to being slightly heavier with slightly different weight distribution. Despite this, the 2017 Porsche 919 is great fun to drive with excellent handling and speed. It's more than capable of getting out of its own way, and has the least understeer and oversteer in the division. If you want to know what modern day spirit of racing is, the 919 is the perfect example. And that's all I have for today. Remember to like and subscribe, and enjoy the race.